Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. <sighs> Hello, beautiful people, man. It's your boy Prodigy, man. And we are live from the Prodigy POV, which is the point of view of me, the Prodigy. Now, you guys clicked on the title, man. I'm going to be telling you why attention is the root of all evil, not money. I know you guys have probably heard it in songs or just hear it being said all the time that money is the root of all evil. Nah, I won't even lie to you. I just Googled this, but I'm going to go ahead and read you guys the definition of attention. Notice taken of someone or something. The regarding of someone or something as interesting or important. Now, along with that, I'm going to read you another definition of the word validation. Recognition or affirmation that a person or their feelings or opinions are valid or worthwhile. Those two words are critical. Keep them in mind. Now, everyone on planet Earth seeks attention some way more than others. And it's normal. It's not a bad thing. Everyone seeks to be validated. But we're in an era now where attention is the root of all evil. People will do anything for attention. We have people faking being sexually assaulted, faking being abused, faking being raped for 15 seconds of fame. We have people lying, saying they committed crimes that they didn't commit, such as killing X or killing Nipsey Hussle just to get their music leaked, just for 15 seconds of fame. We have people tattooing their faces, dyeing their hair rainbow colors, getting weird piercings, all sorts of things just for attention you have girls on Instagram on Twitter walking around uploading videos of them naked in Walmart you got men going to the gym just posting how much weight that they can hit you got men posting on the internet them picking up girls you got people sending screenshots of their direct messages online. Anytime someone compliments them, it's screenshot it posted online. We still got women to this day that are just on the internet posting pictures of their bodies. All for attention and validation. Moral of the story, people will do anything for attention. And the bad thing is they don't care whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. Publicity is publicity. Now, let me tell you guys why people want attention so bad. The only way you want attention from someone in your life is if you are truly not content with yourself. Now, I'm no different than you guys. I'm not perfect. I'm still mastering myself. So, of course, I'll seek attention. Everyone does. But the reason is you have some void in your life. You're not content with yourself. For example, the girls that go out there and post pictures half naked, they're truly not content with their bodies. They have some void in their life. Someone that they want attention from is not giving it to them. You know, whether they don't have a father, you know, whether they don't have a boyfriend, it's something of that nature that causes them to do that. You know, the guys that go out there and lie about committing a crime, they want that attention for a reason. Good, bad, or indifferent, they have a void in their life. Whether it's envious, jealous, whatever it is, they have a void. When you are perfectly content with yourself, you'd be amazed at how different you act. You will never seek attention or validation from anyone. You got guys that'll go put on their freshest fit, get a brand new haircut, you know what I'm saying, just to go impress a girl at school because you have that girl on a pedestal. Like I said, I've done this before. We're human. Everyone's done it. But you view that girl as higher value than you. You only seek attention from people that you view as higher value than you. Even if you won't say it out loud, it's why you do it. For all my athletes, you seek validation. You seek attention from these Division One coaches because you believe they're better than you. Point blank, period. But in reality, we're all human. We all eat, sleep, breathe the same. 
there's a girl in your high school class right now that you're infatuated with infatuated with and you will treat her like she's a queen you believe she's higher value than you for no reason you both have the same grades drive the same car go to the same school but for some reason she's better than you now I want you to stop thinking about that girl and think about another girl for example that may like you that that you wouldn't want to be seen in public with and think about how much differently you treat her you don't seek any attention from her you don't seek any validation from her you could care less about what she believes because deep down you believe you're better than her you believe you're worth more than her you see you see the the silver lining you see the main point it starts with you everybody that's listening to this I challenge you to focus on yourself that's what I'm doing that's what everyone needs to do because once you reach your potential and you become the best you that you can be you'll see the world for what it really is everybody's just seeking attention and validation to try to get ahead of the next man instead of just becoming the best them they can be they all would rather put up a wall or put up a front on the outside but in the inside they're broken you ever notice a lot of these celebrities a lot of these famous people in the world you see them break down a lot because due to this validation this clout that they have people think that they're perfect that they're immortal you know that they're better than everyone and you see them break down the most because they don't focus on what's within they focus more on their outside appearance like I said before you have people out here dyeing their hair rainbows and tattooing their face when me and you both know in a perfect world they wouldn't do that that's not them you got people that are running around posting videos of them dismantling stores just doing ignorant things for that 15 seconds of attention and then once they get that attention they realize that since it isn't organic since it isn't attention for the right reasons they no longer want it but when you get attention it's like a virus and if you plant negative seeds to get that attention it'll do nothing but spread and if you do it organically and positively the same thing it does nothing but spread you see so many of these guys for example do y'all remember the guy uh Bunk gang you know the guy that would run around you know destroying stores stealing people's phones you know whatever you want to call it and now he is on probably every drug under the sun now I'm not speaking negatively on him but you saw what the attention did to him he planted a bad seed and it spread like a virus and now he has to live up to that every day anytime you see him you look at him as the, the man doing ignorant things in public he can't never be you know whoever he is whatever his name is he has to live up to that facade that persona that he built like, let me let you guys in on a little secret you guys tell me on my videos all the time that I should blow up I should be viral I should have way more subs etc etc and I'm well aware of that and I'm not I'm not an idiot I could easily have way more subs right now if I just altered my content but that would be seeking the negative attention that I don't want I would be a sellout I would never be that if you haven't noticed I don't I don't speak on anyone in my videos I don't call out other youtubers I don't post clickbaity content I don't beg anyone for collabs I try to do everything organically I try to come up on my own so that way when I get to where I'm trying to get to no one can say that they made me and no one will have the power to take me down do you understand what I'm saying if you do the wrong things for attention if you sell out for attention in this world especially it will always catch up to you you look at the people that do things the right way they eventually grow an organic I don't want to say fan base but an organic support group around them and it always stays positive it's never a virus it's never negative when you go about life the right way but the key is bettering yourself you know whether it be meditating studying your religion educating yourself you have to better yourself because the longer you see people as higher value than you the longer you will always seek attention another example for all my athletes if you know deep down you're in the best shape 
If you know deep down you grind it harder than anyone in the world, do you not see how much different you would carry yourself? You will walk around carefree because at the end of the day, you have no worries. You know you've done everything that you can. You know that you're the best thing out there. So you won't need to seek attention or validation from anyone. People will seek it from you. But there's two ways you can go about it and I'm, I'm trying to help better you guys along with myself. I want you guys to do it the organic way, the positive way. I don't want you guys to throw up a facade, throw up a front because the fakes always get exposed. Always. You know, they say they say the real die young in this world. If you look, you know, all the people that have tragically been murdered and things like that. Those are the people that make it. They see the world for what it is. They see the attention for what it is. And they try to alter it. They try to warn people, you know, they try to go a different route. And typically those people are the ones that lives get ended shortly. It's like we live in a world where you're almost forced to compete with each other. You know, you go on Instagram, you post a picture, you get five likes. And let's say you have a hundred followers. That that will throw your whole day off. That will bring your whole mood down. But why is that? That's how it's set up to be. So now that next picture, you're praying that you get at least six likes. You always want to improve. And then you see people that are driving fast cars on Instagram. You see people with beautiful women on their hip on Instagram. And it makes you question yourself. It makes you worry about yourself when in reality you're worrying about the wrong things. If I see a man post a picture with flashy cars and flashy girls on Instagram, I don't envy him. You know, I say kudos to him. And then I go focus on what I need to do to better myself. So that way, if I ever want to get in that position, I can make it there. And it starts with what you filter in and out of your life. The content you watch, the pages you follow, etc., etc. For example, I want you guys to go to... When you're done listening to this, go to my Instagram. Okay, Instagram at IBX the Prodigy, right? And look at who I follow. You know, I follow, obviously, my friends, my teammates, you know, my former teammates, and I'm human. I follow a lot of Latina females because I love Latina females, but you'll see me follow, you know, some Bible pages, some motivational pages, some business pages, so I can filter the content that I see. You know what I'm saying? On Snapchat, if you ever, I can't show you, but if you see the things I have added, it's all about bettering myself. On YouTube, I tend to watch videos that will help me better myself. I don't get it twisted. You know, I'll still watch people vlog. I'll still watch sports videos. I'm human. I'm not perfect. But I filter out the content that I see on a daily basis. Same thing with Twitter. I don't follow the, the porn gift pages, you know. I don't follow the, the comedy pages, the meme pages. You know, that's all fun every now and then. But you can literally get stuck in that. Like, there have been days when I've been on Instagram and I will go to that For You tab and be stuck on there for 40 minutes just looking at random videos and it's not healthy you got to take time away from the internet take time away from your phone and go master yourself you know i've been working on meditating i've been trying to read more i'm all about trying to better myself and a lot of you guys listening to this will be younger than me if you wake up if you're 15 16 watching this and you worry about you you can't worry about anyone else you focus on you by the time you get to my age which is 20 you'll be shocked at where you are the people majority in this world, man, are worried about the wrong things. You see people on Twitter arguing about Kyle Lowry's jump shot. You have people arguing about albums. But none of them are worried about what they're doing themselves. They're behind the keyboard talking about someone else. Living their best life, doing what they wish they could do, but they won't go put the work in. But everybody that's listening to this, I believe you're the type of person that wants to be the best you you can be. And being stuck on Instagram every day won't help you. Your life will pass you by. Now, once again, I've already said this multiple times, man. I'm still better than myself. I will still post a picture. I will still post a picture on Instagram, man. And still go through it, man. And, and look at the likes and that type of thing. I'll look at my videos, see my likes and my dislikes. I'm human. I'm not perfect. I hope you guys understand that. But I need you guys to understand, man. Money is not the root of all evil. Maybe it was in 1980. But people don't do anything for money nowadays. They do anything for attention. And with enough attention, money will come along with it. 
but most people will sell out to get that attention under any circumstance. And it scares me. You know, Offset said they do anything for clout. And it is true. Just look at the videos you see on the internet, man. I saw a video the other day of a bunch of kids. They went in a store and just literally just threw everything all on the ground and made a complete mess and left. The video has millions of views. Now, what are they going to do with that clout? I absolutely have no idea. They aren't that smart. But it's crazy to me. You get one life, man, so why would you waste it worrying about other people instead of focusing on being the best you you can be? I don't get it. Now, what I'm going to do with these podcasts, I will put... These are, you know, I'm going to use these podcasts more as to just speak on what I want to speak on to help try to guys, you know, to help try to make you guys the best you you can be. But I will also upload sports podcasts, you know, college advice podcasts and things like that. So any athletic podcast I will put on my channel and the other ones more for, you know, helping you stay woke and just teaching you different things from what I've learned about life. Those will be on my Patreon page. So I'll put the Patreon in the description. If you're interested in these type of podcasts, all you have to do is just give me topics and I'll upload them on there. And as I said, I'll upload, you know, kind of more sports related podcasts here. But I'm going to keep this podcast short. Once again, this is why attention is the root of all evil, not money. And I truly want to humbly thank everybody that's tuned in. You know, this is the first of many podcasts. This is a beautiful thing. I'm actually happy because I'm I know I can impact a lot of people in this way as well. And once again, man, I just want to wish you guys peace and prosperity. Peace and prosperity, man. And make sure, man, you guys focus on you. You know what I mean? And I will continue to pray for all my all my guys, everybody listening to this video. But uh, once again, this is episode one of the Prodigy POV, the point of view of Prodigy, man. God bless y'all. I'm out.